Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance, where we wake you, up in um, unfamiliar surroundings, and apparently I am to talk to you, but uh, outside I take it very well. Ah, okay, well, things haven't gone great for us so far. Uh, from what I understand, this is Rotain Mill, and it was only by, uh, uh, thanks to Teresa and her uncle, that we even survived. Uh, it's been two weeks, though, and I have a bit of a hunger on me, so I noticed this pot. Yes. Om nom 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 nom. There we go. That's a little bit better, isn't it? Uh, what have we got over here? Look, I'm not going to steal from you guys. Uh, ooh. I'm assuming these have been left for me, because they don't say steal. So that's how you know, you see. Uh, very, three sweet pancakes. My lord. I am going to be the size of a house. Uh, sweet pancake. Ooh. Ah, of course. Well, yeah, that does make sense. They didn't just lie me on the on the bed in my armor. Uh, so, sweet pancakes three. Not too bad. Let's have a look at you. No health. Uh, it's okay. It's pancakes, I suppose. Nourishment's actually fairly high, though. Hmm. I wouldn't mind increasing my nourishment a bit, actually. We're going to eat all of these. Let's take that. Well, we'll keep it there. My energy's now 100%. Uh, this will be my chest, and we have a number of things in here. Now, before we go any further, just to address a few things, I am well aware that at any point I could have sold these items, but I'm not going to. I don't think Henry would uh, willingly part with these items, given that they were made by his father, and I, at this point, they're some of the only items he has left to remember his father by. So, although I am fairly certain they're never going to be useful in any kind of crafting or, or, or anything like that. We can't use the axe as a weapon, etc., etc. It's just a tool. Um, and even then, not one we can actually make use of. We're not going to, to be rid of them. And I, I would have sooner dropped Henry's armor and or weapon um, rather than these out and about. But now we have a chest where we can leave our items. I will be leaving them there. They're safe here. In fact, these chests, from what I understand, are basically ender chests and will go everywhere with us. We have... Uh, you know what? Yeah, sure. We'll grab all of the ancient maps. Bandages seem to make sense. Yes. I'll take the Belladonna because they might come in useful. Um, some arrows. Uh, sure, I'll grab my armor. Mm, yeah, we're, we're pretty much going to take everything. Uh, Groshin, I'll take my dice. I'm not taking the uh, Hercules and his diet. Uh, we don't need it. Hunter's gloves. We don't need Kinesh's key. Light pad. Oh, my lord, my armor is messed up. That is unfortunate. Uh, lock picks, sure, sure, sure. We'll take all of these. And the Pages Sword, yes. I did notice in editing that I had done things very, very wrong with that. I was wielding the, the Pages Swords, which needs, ooh, which needs much higher um, stats than I had to wield. Ooh, now that looks nice. Hmm. Let me have a quick look at that. Let's have a look. Armor wise, uh, I could pop that on. My speed would go down. So let's let's have a look at this though. Warhorse Gamberson. Comfortably uh comfortable knight gamberson commonly used as a lower layer under a heavy armor. It is adorned with the monogram WH in silver thread to stress its owner's social status. <laughs> Charisma 13, my goodness. Uh yeah, I think we will be wearing that. We'll also be wearing pants, and we'll also be wearing boots. And those are the only things I'm going to wear. Unfortunately, my pants and my boots are a bit dirty. But uh, other than that, I don't think we need to put anything else on for now. As for my weapon, I can't make use of it. I'm no good with it, which makes me very sad. Uh, we will equip the bow. Uh, other than that... Well, we may just clean up the armors that we've got and probably sell that one, to be perfectly honest. There's no reason to... To wear that. Our charisma is now looking at nine. Uh, have we got any perks to take? We possibly do. Uh, Night Raider, first aid. Unable to use bandages. Oh, okay, so that's just one that I now have. Uh, stronghold, blocking an opponent's blows will cost you 30% less stamina. That's quite nice. Grave digger. Okay, well, we're going to need to get our agility up a lot if we want to use that sword or find a different weapon. All right, and with that, I think it is time for us to make our move. Okay, I've got to go and talk with the miller and, and obviously thank him for taking care of us at uh, no small expense, apparently, if what Teresa mentioned is, to, is true. Let's pull that door. There you go. Close all the doors as we go through them. 
Ah, fantastic. Wash myself. Yes, please. You wash yourself as much as you can in a trough. Now, does that clean up all of the items that I wasn't wearing? No. In that case, I will wear them temporarily just so I can clean them. Let's pop them on quickly. There we go. Uh, I look covered in blood. Let's wash myself again. There we go. Now I should be able to just take those back off. Don't want to wear them right now, so let's strip of these. Uh, we'll take off the padded cough. Uh, coif, rather. Well, that isn't too bad. But these are a bit messed up. They're a little bit uh, damaged, so we'll, we'll leave those off for now. I could take those off or actually leave them on. They're reasonably high durability. The old boots are a bit messy, but, well... They'll live, I think. Uh, we're okay. Uh, I actually think I look reasonably um, presentable, as is. All right. Not too bad. Uh, where is the miller? And, you know, marigolds along the way. Also, I wouldn't mind some mint. There we go. And some chamomile. There we oh, the miller's right behind me. Like, what on earth? Just woke up after two weeks picking flowers. I'm going to be picking a lot of flowers. Hello. Right, let's introduce ourselves formally. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door, while you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood mm. letter who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. Oh, dear. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you, and it's not something any fool can do. Uh... If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? I say this sounds incredibly shady, unfortunately. And and part of that is just the, the, the voice and the, the the way that he's already spoken to Henry, given that Henry has just woken up after two weeks. I mean, uh, an element of frustration. Uh, he doesn't know Henry from, from any stranger, so why is he paying for it? But I would have assumed that Teresa would have would have explained a little bit that, you know, I'm a survivor from Scarlet, I guess. Uh, at the same time, though, still doesn't matter. Teresa is his kin. We're just some stranger. So I, I can appreciate him being a little bit... His temperament being a little bit frayed around the edges however that sounded very dubious unfortunately hmm, i don't know can i just pay instead that sounds kind of rude really <sighs> Let, let's put it put it like this because he has paid i am alive i would i would be dead if it weren't for him that does, if we're talking about honor, mean that I'm, I'm, I'm not just in debt for coin. My life is in debt. And until, until the, the, the value of, of the treatment is paid off, then I guess I'm at his service. What do you need of me? Let's just hope it's not well, What would you bad. need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. Really? And not get caught while you're doing it. Really? That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. I'm afraid Maybe I am, This worrying. one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother oh, you? Oh, my lord. No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right. But somewhere else, I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. My father warned me of unconventional work. <laughs> Damn it. I stole one suit of armor and now look where it's gotten us. It's a slippery slope, everyone. You, you do one bad thing and suddenly everything you touch is corrupt in some way. 
And I, it wasn't even stealing, not really stealing. The lady of the of the castle told me I could take it. I mean, it was her armor, basically. So really, it was just unconventional borrowing. And look where it's landed me. <sighs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll hear more. Like, like I said, I'm not simply in debt to you for coin. You saved my life, and thus again... And if we're talking honour, then my life is yours to use or abuse as you see fit until the debt is paid. I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on. Tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojcik, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Okay. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Okay. Jesus Christ. Uh... You want me to dig up a corpse? Take a ring from it and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz. It's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. I don't agree with that. That fellow is dead. He won't miss him. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? I feel that you're... Argument is missing something, and yet at the same time, oh, that that was that was dangerous. You, you, you're a bit of a, a scallywag. You've got a bit of a sly tongue on you. I I can see the kind of crazy word traps you're laying. Uh, nevertheless, I'm going to do it simply because uh, I'm not going to leave Teresa feeling that that she saddled you with the debt because I I feel that would be mm, that's a horrible thing. You, 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 you get taken in by someone who goes out of their way to keep you alive, and then you're just like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not going to do this. That, that's, that's not, no. <sighs> Though honestly, maybe if I'd just been given the choice, well, we can save your life, or you know, but you're going to have to dig up a corpse, or you can just die, and maybe Henry would have taken a different, different option. But since you've already done it, and I am now in debt. Uh, see the way you're already making me justify my actions. And I imagine this is all flashing through Henry's mind really, really quickly, but fine, you silver-tongued devil. I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. <laughs> Damn it, Henry, get out of my head. I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Oh, wow. Watch your mouth, boy. You deserved it. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. It's a corpse of a villain. Corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. No, it's an executioner, come on. I can't believe he's come to this. We just woke up after two weeks and we've already been tasked with well, is it really? St well, I mean, it, uh, see, if you just told me that the the, the the criminal had stolen the ring off your friend, it would make this so much easier. But I've got a funny feeling that you don't actually want it to be easy for me, do you? <sighs> oh my goodness! Uh, where's, where's Teresa? I want to at least go and say thank you to her. Hopefully, she doesn't have a task with me as well. Oh, well, she does. Ah, oh, there we are. Hey, uh. Have you eaten yet? Uh, yes, I have, thank you. Yes, it was very good. Did you bake it yourself? I did. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, well, okay. Uh, I'm glad that you're glad, actually. Uh, do you have anything else to say? Um, hmm. I, there are lots of things I'd like to know. I'd like to know... Uh, wait, didn't the Scarlet's... Yeah, the Scarlet's folk were heading to Rete, so... How are the Scarlet's folk getting on? They're alive. That's the main thing. They have shelter, but they're just scraping by. Rete's citizens aren't happy the town is full of beggars who don't look like leaving any time soon. Hmm. That's quite troubling. Maybe we can help them in some way. Um... Oh, it isn't particularly Christian of them to to 
turn these people out. Well, I guess they didn't turn them out. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll find out a little bit more about them, but uh, it's not very generous, regardless, being ill-tempered with them. How do you like it in Ratay? So, how do you like it in Ratay? Ratay, sorry. It's a big sorry. town with good strong walls, so I suppose we're safe here. And they took us in in our hour of need, but for how much longer? They'll grow tired of us soon enough. Hmm. And what about the Cumans? Do you know anything about those Cuman rapists? About, you know? Hmm. They came to Hungary from God knows where, and now they... Well, folk tell awful stories about them. I hope I never see them again. What happened, though? Uh, that was really insensitive. I was trying to avoid asking too much about that, but... Uh, well, I'm glad you're That's safe all. is all. Um, well, since we've already brought up Scalit. Uh, yeah, let's get all of the, the unfortunate topics out of the way in just one fell swoop. And then we don't have, have to you talk about it again. I'd like to ask a few questions about Scalit. I don't remember it much. All right. What do you want to know? Um... Well, yeah, let's have a look here. Enough of those guys. Yeah, how did you get away from them? Like that, then that, that topic is late how to bed. How did you get away from those humans? You're wrong. If it hadn't been for you, when they came to the mill, they slaughtered everyone and kept me for last. After you distracted them, I fled to the mines to find my brother, but he. My brother was dead, but I owe my life. And more to you. And I owe mine to you. The scales are balanced. Well, uh, at the very least, that's... I mean, it's not a nice story, no matter how you tell it, but it could have ended a lot worse. I'm very glad that she's all right. Um, though she certainly doesn't owe me any debt. Not after... As Henry said, the scales are balanced at this point. Um, what happened with the bandits? What about the bandits? Sir Robard and his men routed them. They killed the few, but the giant who attacked you fled, and Zibishek with him. It won't be safe in Scalitz for a while yet. Okay. How did you get me here? How did you get me away from Scalitz? It wasn't easy. Sir Robard and his men helped load you on a wagon, and we harnessed an old nag the bandits had left behind. The soldiers escorted us all the way here. God bless them. I actually owe Sir Robert quite a heavy debt as well. My lord, I'm, I've am i got so many debts I need to pay. How am I ever going to get up to pay all of these things back? Uh, what happened to the other Scalets folk? What happened to the other survivors from Scalets? They sought refuge in Ratay, and some of the Ratay folk are none too happy about it. And Matthew, Fritz and Matthias, Johanka, did they make it? They're alive. I heard Matthias is at the stud farm in Merhoyed. Johanka is in Sasau, and Fritz and Matthew, well, you know them. They're up to no good somewhere. The only trouble they'll be in is of their own making. Well, that's reassuring, at least. Um, what happened to Sir Radzik? What about Sir Radzik? Sir Hanish, he's the Lord of Ratay. He gave his lower castle to Sir Radzik, a place called Perkstein. Sir Hanish lives at the upper castle. Scarlet's folk have made camp in front of it. Oh, that was very good of him. And Saranzik's sword, though. Given that the bandit got away, I imagine it's still with him. Where's the sword I had? You had a sword? It's gone now. Those scum took everything, including your horse. I don't give a damn about I a horse. I didn't have a horse. I stole it anyway. But I my father forged that sword what? for Saranzik. I promised father I'd take it to him. I have to get it back. Well, you can't. Just be thankful you're still alive. Uh, I don't know. No, well, how could Zbyshek have done that? Why would Zbyshek do that? I never thought much of him, but banditry. He was always a nasty piece of work. It doesn't surprise me he joined them. If you knew what he did to me. What? Tell me. When those... humans they call them... When the Cumans came, Zibishek pushed me out in front of them and fled. He sacrificed wow. me to save his own hide. That bastard. I'm going to put a star next to his name on my list. Uh, 
Okay, well, that's enough that we don't have I to talk about Scarlet anymore. anymore. Let's leave it be. Thank you very much for uh, the talk. Um, I would love to go for a walk, but we've had a pretty heavy talk right now, and I've got a lot of work to do, apparently, and many debts to pay, so I need to get on that. But, uh, wow. Okay, uh, right, let's have a look at the map. Where are we exactly? Can I go down? Can I have a look at... Hmm. Uh, down here, go to Pickstein to see Saranzig. And over here, get the... <laughs> well, again, debt. You know what, let's have a look at my quest log. Uh, I will be going over the codex. Uh, not in this episode, just because we've probably got so many different things we need to read, just because a lot of quests ended and uh, new quests are going to be beginning. Um, but I have received the feedback in the comments, and I will be reading codex entries here and there, especially character entries um, and, and important people, because that's really going to make a lot more uh, sense to the um, story rather than just generic information about the time. Though I may may take some like little optional videos where I'll just read the codex for like half an hour or something like that. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But thank you very much to everyone who uh, who replied to, to my question earlier. Right, so vengeance. My home was destroyed, my parents and my sweetheart murdered. I fled like a coward and only survived by a miracle. And when I tried to do the right thing and at last, uh, at least bury my loved ones, I lost the last thing my father left me. The sword he forged for Sir Radzig. Well, I kept the hammer and axe as well, actually. But I will never run again. Ever. I'll find those who did this. Those who raided Scalitz and killed him. And I'll find that thieving rat who took my sword and run him through with it. Oh, uh, really? I'm not sure I'd want to sully the sword, frankly. Scalitz was raised by King Sigmund uh, of Hungary's army. But the attack itself was led by a knight whose coat of arms was a, a shield with one half gold and three red bars, and the other half plain red. Ooh, okay. I didn't actually note that myself, so I'm glad that's written down here. He was the one who murdered my parents. It didn't take me long to find out who he was, because Sigismund's army also approached Talenburg, uh, Talenburg, sorry, and sent a negotiator to parley. It was him. And he even introduced himself by name, Markvard von Ullitz. And I was helpless to do anything. But one day I will find him. Uh, I have to find those who stole the sword from me. I believe he goes by the nickname Runt and has something to do with Zbyshek from Scalit. I must find Mark Vart and avenge my parents. So that's vengeance. That's pretty much our primary goal. Uh, the second main quest. I woke up from bad dreams. Teresa, the Scalit's Miller's daughter, was sitting over, uh, sitting leaning over me. Turns out it was she, together with Sir Robard and his men, who saved my life. Then she took me to Retay, to Uncle Shek's mill. They looked after me for a, uh, the whole time I was delirious and feverish. Teresa also lost everything and is now living at her uncle's mill. I may stay there if I wish, but I have a debt to settle. My treatment was not without cost. I have to go to Puckstein Castle to see Sir Ranzig and tell him what happened. Okay, and the side quest, the good thief. Ugh. I'm not sure there's much good about this, but Milipshek and his niece Teresa took care of me while I was at death's door. I owe them my life. I talked to Pshek about the time I spent lying helpless at the mill while his niece Teresa took care of me. It seems I ran up a bill with the apothecary. While I was unconscious, my debt to the apothecary increased. I should pay him. Milipshek paid the apothecary 50 groschen? Wow, to treat me while I was unconscious. He wants me to pay the debt off by doing him a service. Pishak wants me to get him a ring from an ex executed man who's buried under the gibbet. Uh, it's either that or pay him back in... Co well, if I can get the coin, I'll pay him back that way, but the 50 groschen is a lot. And I don't think I can really afford to tarry with this. I'm going to need a spade to dig up the ring from the grave. Oh, okay. Spade. I need a spade. Where will I find a spade? Have a look. Is there one in here? I'm not seeing one. Would they, well, why would they keep a spade in the upper floors of the mill? Uh, scythe. Ah, drag. I remember seeing the scythe, but that's uh, sorry, the scythe. But I uh, don't see a spade there. Okay. Oh, let's close this doors. Keep the heat in. 
Not that it really matters too much since all of the other places are open. Uh, right. Ace. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's nice and easy. Oh, there we are. Yes. Uh, okay, got one spade. Uh, is there anything else around here? Got a spade. Actually, I might actually have a quick talk with the miller before I head out as well. Can't go in there. Water wheel. I like water wheels. I like the sound of a water wheel, actually. Very well. Ye of teleporting hat. Let's have a quick chat before Jesus I head out. Christ be praised. Uh, indeed. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Why am I not in the least bit surprised? There is not even one surprise in me right now. No surprises. Uh, can you tell me? Can you tell me? Right, yeah, if you happen to know anything about the Scalitz folk. What about the Scalitz folk? God sent them to punish us for our sins. Really? They don't work. They just idle around begging. And you want to keep a close eye on your belongings when they're around. I'll be glad to see the back of them. Really? And you know what? I'm going to let it go. But if God really has said anything to punish anyone for sins, I imagine you have quite quite the tally there. What do you think about what, what happened? What do you think about everything that's happened? I don't concern myself with the doings of my betters. But this mess isn't good for business. Them two brothers should sort things out between themselves without dragging us into it. I don't give a damn who's king, but that usurper from Hungary has gone too far. Well, at least you agree on that. And about the Cumans? Do you know anything about those Cumans? The heathen scum that Sigismund brought here. Why do you even ask? You've seen with your own two eyes what they're capable of. Okay, well, that's all. That's all. Doesn't look like we're getting anything more out there. I... I, I mean, I already know how to pick locks. And I... I've got a funny feeling that if I ask you to show me anything like that, even if it's for the good causes... I can't think of right now, but I'm sure there are some good causes where, where being able to pick locks is, is really helpful and, and very honourable. It will just give you the wrong idea. I'm only doing this because I owe you. Damn it. Uh, I imagine that's the bathhouse. Very well. Um, got a little place down here. Well, our quest is over there. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, what are these? Uh, almost look like some something for train. Oh right, of course, yes, yeah, for stacking up the hay. I was going to say it looks like <laughs> some some sort of training apparatus, but no, no, no. It's far simpler than that. Oh, I found the tanner. Hello. Uh, about what? Uh, I I, ca I can't remember how to pronounce it. Ratty. Uh, no. Ratty. No. Rat eye. That's it. Rat eye. There we go. Uh, what kind of lord is Hanush? What kind of governor is Sir Hanush? Sir Hanush is a good lord. Things won't be the same when that wastrel Sir Hans takes over. That will be a sorry day. You remind me of someone I used to know. How's life in Ratay? What's uh, life Ratai? like in Ratay? I'll get it eventually. We got sturdy walls Ooh. and two castles to protect us. There's not many towns have that. And it's we true. get everything we need here. We got an apothecary, a swordsmith, <laughs> an armorer. We got a beautiful church and fine alehouses. Ah, sounds like a wonderful place. Though, uh... <laughs> I'm not going to mock you for the way you say apothecary. Who knows? Maybe I say apothecary the wrong way. But that sounded particularly funny. Uh, how do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? Well, they have it tough, no doubt. But there's not enough room for them here. How much longer will they be living on our streets? Nothing good will come of this. What if one of them's brought the plague with him? I mean, to be fair, that's a horrible thing to say. But at the same time, it is a reasonable fear for the time. Uh, so I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to hold that against them at all. Uh, have you heard anything about the Cumans? Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? Getting better at pronouncing I don't know if it's just old wild tales, but I heard truly terrible things. Great. Great. Thank 
I, I appreciate that you just let me know that there were terrible things to be heard, but didn't tell me what terrible things they were. That's good. Uh, okay, uh, we can buy a bunch of things in there. Uh, can I sell anything? Because I wouldn't mind selling this if I could. I have no reason for, to, to keep that. None at all. I could even sell a bunch of sage, honestly. Yeah, actually, I'd like to sell it all. There we go. If I can just sell as much of this as I can, then I would be very happy. All the marigold. There we go. And the mint. Get rid of that. And, well... Actually, let me take a little bit back. I would like to take some of that back. I will take some of the sage back, because I want to have a few things on me to keep my... Uh, my charisma high. Okay. Uh, I'm going to haggle this, though. How much is this going to come to? It's, wow, okay. You know what? Maybe I can just Let's have a word about the, the price. I. Maybe I will be able to just pay it all back. Um, yeah, I would, I would like to get a little bit more than that. Let's, let's not go too far, though. Just uh, an extra... 0.4 Groshen. Uh, I would love to know the denominations. I'm assuming the Groshen wasn't the smallest denom denomination of coin. Um, whenever I've, like, um, back when I, I used to code a lot and I, I made uh, a kind of medieval-themed uh, multiplayer game, I actually had a couple of different coins. And I, I borrowed from the time period, but from several different places. And so we had pennies, farthings, that sort of stuff, um, crowns. Um, but what were the denominations of coins here at this time period? If everyone happens to know, I'd actually really be interested in the comments. All right, let's see if they'll take that. Uh, since it's you. I'd almost check on that. Almost. Mm, okay. Wow, really? Just a tiny little improvement. Uh, let's, let's see if we can get you up just to 7.6. Finally, a reasonable sum. Okay, that's not too bad then. Just training up. Got to, got to keep working on my bartering skill. Uh, doggo, hello. Okay. Maybe not then. Still following me? No. Good. <laughs> I will come back when I have got some food. Uh, okay. So this is all the tanning going on. This place would weak, by the way. This is the sort of job where... Uh, once that smell gets on you, it stays for a long time. Apparently, uh, there used to be a tannery in the town where I grew up. It was gone by the time that uh, that I was born. But the people who worked there, that that smell just clung to them, no matter how much they washed. That that it just stuck. Uh, it was just me walking past because I'm going in an odd way. Another good boy. Well done. Uh, let's actually have a look at my uh, speech though, because I do have a perk for that. I apparently. Uh, there we go. A low born, high born. Final offer. When trade loses pace with you during haggling, you get one more chance to make uh, another offer. I think I will grab this because I like to haggle so much. I'm not going to go for, with low born or high born just yet. I haven't decided yet where I would like to uh, focus my attention. All right, okay, so that's not going to take me where I want to go. I'm going to want to go down this way. We've also got uh, Activity Giver. Okay. Yeah, we're going to want to go along the river. All right, let's head down there. Now, on that note, I, I didn't see the dog with Teresa. I hope it's okay. Can I collect dock leaves? No, really? What if I get stung by nettles? Heaven knows how much I try to pick them. Uh, at least I've got gloves on right now, but... Nothing like a dark leaf to help with a nettle sting. Uh, grab some sage on our way. Okay, let's... Uh, well, I'll try not to dilly-dally too much, but you know me. I need loads of loads of money. And flowers seems to be a pretty bloody good way of getting it. Donkulously good way, considering. I'll grab several poppies, though. I quite like poppies. Uh, there we are. But these do rack up the weight. Even though uh, uh, you get 0.1 weight unit for a single flower, but that does stack up. I like the way that some games do it where it's like, yes, there's a minimum weight, 
but it's up to a stack of a hundred of something incredibly light. So you could hold a hundred poppies and it would still only be 0.1, but then 101 would be 0.2 and so on and so forth. It's, it's a simple system, but it, it seems to bridge the gap between this is stupidly heavy and this is basically infinitely light. Because um, neither, neither way is particularly good in my opinion, but uh, it actually looks really pretty. Uh, bathhouse, I will probably avail myself of the services there eventually. When I want to look my best. Uh, for now though, we'll just leave that be. We are going to go and focus on my side quest for the time being. I think. Is that what I'm right? Yeah. Oh, actually, we do have, have to go across there. Get the dead man's ring for Milipishek. Uh, oh, great. A bunch of stew. Hmm. Uh, I think we'll leave that. I do need to find some more Belladonna though. Did I sell all my Bell Belladonna? No, really, mean rather silly of me. No, I've still got the Belladonna. Good. That is always going to be very useful. Now then, uh, we'll follow along the road down here. In fact, we'll run a little bit. You might as well. Uh, people who played Morrowind will will get this very well. But apparently, you should just always be doing something that'll train your skills because you train them by doing them. Uh, doing stuff with them. So you want to increase uh, your vitality? I'm not sure it would increase your agility, but um, from what I understand, just running around will increase your vitality. Okay, we've got uh, someone's house and a little way through the forest. Very well. Let's make our way over here then. Uh, so a little path, that's fine. Of course, the executor would live right on the edge of the town. Well, that being said, uh, executors, whilst, whilst intimidating, it wasn't necessarily seen as a bad job. Um, in fact, they, I believe one of the first jobs to have a quasi-guild that that um, dealt with it. Uh, right. A uh, quick poke around. Okay. Blood. Mm, I don't have any hanged man. Really? That's a fairly low... There's lots of bodies in there? What on earth is that? Oh, it's, it's a corpse. They must have just been thrown down here. Am I not? Hmm. Can I jump up there? No, it seems I cannot. What was I looking at? I saw something. For a moment I saw something. Can I get across there? No, it doesn't seem I can. Let me see if I can approach that from the other side. Are these bodies? Yes, it does appear so. It's not exactly the nicest way to spend my time, but... There was something over here. Was it just... No. What was that? Fly... Uh, agaric. It's the mushroom underneath. I thought it might have been. Oh well. A lot of blood here. Not exactly the nicest thing. I'm not going to skulk around. Because that's just going to make it seem like it, I, I'm up to no good. I mean, I am, but... A uh, hog. Are those boars? Interesting. Uh, where are we then? Are we right on top of this? Uh, ah, there we are. So... Ah, okay, so that's like the hangman's area. It's not actually... This isn't the, the execu... Uh, uh, sorry, executioners. It actually looks like just someone's uh, farmstead, maybe? I probably shouldn't be walking through you. Hello? Can I walk through? Maybe. I love that the dogs don't like just strangers wandering through an area. That makes a lot of sense. Of course, if you were trying to be sneaky and they just set off the alarm like that, oh, that would be bad times. All right, well, at least I know where this is. I am not going to just be randomly digging up corpses in the middle of the day, however. But knowing where everything I need is, is uh, going to be useful. Uh, all right, Gallows Hill. You know what, let's bring that up. 
Execution Place. Yeah, it's, it's just a hanging tree, basically. Execution Places were situated on hilltops at crossroads and out of town as they were considered unclean. These were deserted places that everyone avoided. No craftsman would work nearby for fear of losing his reputation. The only one to be seen thereabouts was the executioner, who often lived near the site. Oh, no, it was the executioner's place then. Okay. Common folk would approach the gallows or execution place for the sole purpose of witnessing an execution. Executions became popular folk entertainment often with the whole town gathering to watch, but sentencing to capital punishment was a right granted only to selected towns, and by no means all of them had their own executioner. Uh, again, capital punishment really wasn't that common, uh, because why would you kill your workforce? It's much better to punish them and rehabilitate them. Uh, well, rehabilitate was a strong word for, <laughs> for, the, for the sort of punishment that were, were doled out. Um, but... Where was it? Uh, I'm not seeing a, a gibbet around here. A gibbet, of course, is a cage where you stick someone in so they starve to death. Um, down here somewhere? Ah. Okay. Hmm. We're not doing that out in the out in daylight. Not when we're that visible to what must must be the executioner. Uh, okay, well, we can probably fast travel over here and then just wander down and see what's going on in the town. I think we should do that, especially because we don't have any meats with us. And we were warned to give meat to the to the dogs, so that makes a lot of sense. Uh, sure, let's, let's just go ahead and fast travel over there. We'll also get to see the fast... Oh! That is super awesome. That is really, really quite amazing. I like that fast travel system. That is much better than I was expecting. I'll be honest with you, much better. All right, how long did we get up there? I think there was a way up just down here, was there not? Yes, just a little ways up there. Uh, unexplored place. Oh, is that because I fast traveled? Ah, so this is marking any locations that I fast traveled past. Well, I, I know what that place is, so I don't particularly need to go in there, but perhaps I should walk up to it just to mark it on my map. Something along those lines. Yeah, sure. And then we're going to head up to Rat Eye to find out what's going on. We haven't really done too much in this episode. I am I am aware of that. I do try to have these episodes be longer because with an RPG, you take time. Uh, to, to get progress with an RPG usually does take time, especially if you play the way I play, and that is I like to talk to everyone. Uh, okay, we can't go through there. Uh, there doesn't appear to be a, a knock door option anywhere. Hello. I have discovered the bath. That's good enough. I don't need to do any more than that. It is now probably a fast travel destination for us as well. But I really like the fact that when you fast travel, you can still discover things. I'm not sure I will use fast travel too much, except to go between places I've already been. But maybe, you know, it'll, it'll still let me pick out places that maybe I missed along the way. I'll take the nettle and chamomile as I go. Uh, usually, fast travel is something I expressly avoid because I will miss out on things. Uh, but it seems that this game has kind of mitigated that a little bit, which is uh, kind of nice. For those who, who do just want to move around from um, point of interest to point of interest, that will be really nice to to avoid missing out on those sorts of things. Though I wonder if you can still be attacked while fast traveling and then it'll just pull you out of fast travel. I would assume so. Very interesting indeed. Very, very interesting indeed. Am I covered in slop? Because I did jump in a... Yes, I am, aren't I? Well, I did that to myself by walking in that bloody pool. Okay, another fast travel point. And someone's horse just randomly left outside. All right. Well, actually, no, it doesn't look like it's randomly left there. That's uh, definitely not a coat of arms that I recognize. Hello. Halt. Okay. Who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scarlet's blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzig Kabila of Dvoyets. Of course you are, lad. And I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship, and what makes you think he'll see you? Hmm. Okay, um... I am effectively Sir Radzik's blacksmith now. Come on, I'm not some peasant. I'm Sir Radzik's blacksmith, and I need to speak with him. It's my job oh, to it. stop you. Now bugger off. Uh, okay, wow. Got very high... Um, I guess that's like straight up charisma. Let me in! No, no. 
Uh, I have to tell Sir Radzik what happened to his sword. I may not look the part, but I know about honour and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, oh, okay, that worked. Go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. Hmm, I need to start trusting Henry's just regular speech skill a little bit more than I do. Uh, I, I, there have been several times now where that hasn't... Uh, well, that's been the best option. All I ask of you is a crust of bread, a groschen, whatever you can spare. How are you, Henry? Oh, bless her. Oh, you will, of course, most of you will recognize me. I could die of shame to be reduced to begging. Um, I was hoping I could just give you something. Uh, what actually happened in Skellet? Did you find out what actually happened? Folks say it was an account of our silver and how Sir Radzik sides with the king. That seems to be the prevailing theory, yeah. How does life in Ratai suit you? Probably not I well. suppose it was kind of them to take us in. But then they just left us to fend for ourselves. Nobody gives a damn about us. Well, I mean... It's not... I don't think anyone has enough to spare in, in, in this kind of situation, so... Is there no way that I can just give you something? I mean, I've got, I've got Groshen, I've got food. Damn it. Uh, I would like to give you, a, is there absolutely no way I can give? There is not. Well, look, I'm not going to drop food on the ground. Um, I could have dropped some dried fruit, maybe, but no. We're going to drop, where's my Groshen's? There we are. I would like to drop one groschen, uh, a whole groschen, not a not a fraction of a groschen. There we go. That's all I can do. Uh, moving on. We're good neighbors. I lived like you did till Scarlet was burned to ashes. Uh, beggar Jane. That's exactly the same thing. I'm going to be very poor moving through here. One Groshen. Then I really need to go and get stuff done. Probably not going to pick it up either. Because the game doesn't seem to realise that I would want to help out the people I've lived around for uh, since I was a boy, my lord. Yeah, let's just get my clothes washed at least. There we are. Are you alright? How are you, Henry? Um, not doing too bad. Uh, Vagabond, whose name you. I don't know. What do you need? Uh, right. Uh, about... Uh, Ratai. Uh, well, we already more or less know this, but let's have a little bit of information. Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? I don't know if it's just all wives' tales, but I heard truly terrible things. And I saw them. How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? I know they got nowhere to go. Scalitz is a pile of ashes, and the countryside ain't safe. But they've been here too long. Wait, you're not one of them? Some of those buggers got light fingers. And not a one of them appreciates the sacrifices we made for them. What? I... How did you know my name then? I assume you were one of the... One of the Scarlet folk to be calling me Henry. Though that does explain why I don't know your name. Hang on a second, you're a vagabond. And you're talking down about the Scarlet folk? Wait a moment. What's life like in Ratai? This is a manorial town, and our lord hasn't got himself tangled up in affairs of state, so it's peaceful here. Fair enough. What kind of governor is Sir Hanish? Young Sir Hans is our governor, but Sir Hanish is his guardian till he comes of age. That's not a day I'm looking forward to. I see. Okay, well... I see, I, I, I figured since with, with all of the stuff about Scalitz, they came from there. Did you find out what actually happened? They say Sigismund is at war with the Czech lords and abducted the king. And our lord sides with Wenceslaus. Oh, I have just got to make sure that an alarm doesn't go off. It doesn't. Hooray! I, I was clever enough to make sure that everything is not going to be awesome in one minute. Uh, what are you hanging around for? What are you hanging around for? Don't you have any work to do? Hang on a second. No, I shouldn't be I talking don't. about that. Sigismund's marauders took everything I had and reduced me to beggary. So you are from Scal- I'm so confused. 
What's it about? What's it about? Since I lost everything, I've been doing whatever I could to survive. Only I got caught with my hand in someone else's pocket. What? And since then, I can't even set foot on the square without the catchpoles pouncing on me. So you're a pickpocket? All right, get to the point. But keep your hands where I can see them. My honestly begged Russian were taken from me by that bastard of a guard, Pazdera. He claimed I stole them and took them for himself, the swine. Well, if you can get them from his pocket <sighs> back into mine, where they rightfully belong, I'll give you a share and teach you a handy trick too. What I'm do you not say? sure I need to know. That I, I'm not a thief, but, but I, I do steal th from time to It's complicated. I am not a thief. I'm not a thief. Find someone else. A pox on you, your kin and all your descendants. Wow. Call yourself a Christian? Turning your back on a neighbour in need? Considering you were telling me about all of the... the people from Scarlet having light fingers, and then you apparently are a person from Scarlet who has light fingers, and now you're trying to make me into a person with light fingers. My lord. Ah, though honestly, that was a bit of a com uh, confusing conversation. <laughs> I don't think he knew where he was from, frankly. Uh, right, where are we headed to right now? Oh, actually, no, we need to go straight into the castle. Of course, that would be the high castle somewhere up there, I guess. Hey, Henry's come to see us. Shut it, you. You're lucky not on my list. I still have room. Oh my goodness. Right, let's go and see if I can't talk with uh, Radzig. Could that be the smith's son, Hal? On my soul, it is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. Uh, well, uh, I was attacked by bandits in Scalitz. Bandits attacked me in Scalitz. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? Who else but cutthroats and bandits did you expect to find? I needed to bury my parents. Oh, I see. Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. I didn't even manage that. I failed to save him or put him to rest. But he is buried. And just what could you have done at Scalitz? If you tried to fight, the both of you would be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use of it. You're right. And just what are you doing here? Uh, well, I'm here to talk with Sir Radzig about the sword. I must speak with Sir Radzig. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. Oh, damn it. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzig. I don't see any sword. No, that's the problem. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. Sometimes the voice acting really is a bit sketchy, but, uh, hmm. The problem with this is I'm not sure I can just sh waltz into the middle of a feast. That's a little bit, uh, a little bit dodge. But at the same time, hmm. No, I, well, maybe I should just wait until he's not in the middle of a feast. Hello, can we have a talk? Hello, hello. Uh, apparently no, no, we cannot have a talk. Uh, who's in here then? Uh, no one. I was expecting that to go to a kitchen or something. Very well, we're gonna have a little poke around, see if we can't find Sir Radzik. Uh, no, we're not going in there or in there. Uh, we may be going in one of these two though. We have found a bedroom. I am in a private area. And why am I not surprised? Uh, this probably too is a private area, is it not? Yeah, these are probably all the servants' quarters. Okay, well, let's... Oh, hello. Townswoman. Can I talk? Hello? How rude. Please, can I talk? Well, scallywaggery. But that does actually answer a question that I had. If in doubt... Uh, or if I, I can't gain access somewhere, like I don't want to try and lockpick it, or I don't think I could. If I just wait for someone who can, who has access to go through, 
Then maybe I can just get in there that way. Uh, hmm. I very much doubt I'm just going to be allowed in here, but I'll see if they'll say hello. Hello? No? Okay. It was actually just a really lifelike statue. Hello? Um, please don't lock me in. <laughs> if you go that way and lock the door, I'm going to be what so... Really? You walked into me, fella. My lord. It's always my fault, apparently. I don't I don't agree with this. Is this okay? Hello? No, private area. I wish I had a little bit more of an idea of what was a private area before I was walking in the private area, especially when there are guards right next to me. Feels that like that would be very useful information. Some sort of border on the ground. It's like, yeah, this is a bad place to be. Uh, right, well. Can I... I keep catching on something. I'm not sure what it is. Can I go up there at all? There we go. Seems that this area is just really, really hard. I Someone has lassoed me. I'm sure of it. It actually it felt like someone had actually roped me from behind and it was just pulling me back the harder I tried to get away. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, you learned a... Sir, oh. Your graces. What? I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Wow. Deep fucking shit. Don't you not agree? Wrong. I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honoured. Perkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, oh dear. well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, oh, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a very need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realize just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. Impossible to give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. Really? I just walked in? What the? You've no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. Uh, I'm sorry, oops. sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man, and your mother, she was remarkable too. Uh, they deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. This is a painful conversation. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. 
Well, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven, as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. Wow. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad. I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valour, and a dead man keeps no promises. Nice words. The woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to wow. learn these things. Wow, that escalated. All of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, puts a robot in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. I mean, he's not... Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, <laughs> except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well. Believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. Wow. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. Oh, that he isn't a peasant father, he's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? So, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. <laughs> I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Well, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm. That's true. The bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. Wow. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, oh, Henry. Dear. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. Well, that worked out better than we had any right to hope for. Oh, my lord. Ah, I've got a funny feeling, though, that... Uh... Look where you... Oh, what? What do you mean? Look, I was literally start. Well, but as I was saying, I don't think our training is going to be particularly gentle. This is not a Mr. Miyagi kind of training that's going to be happening here. I imagine that I am going to be sweating blood by the end of that. But there again, they a lot better than they had any right to go. So that's where we're going to wrap up this episode, and I will bring you back in the next to probably going off and getting some training and actually doing some bloody work, but uh, that's it from me for now. I really do hope you enjoyed, and will be joining me for the next. Again, sorry that uh, we didn't make too much progress in this one, uh, but hopefully uh, you enjoyed what progress we did make. So until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.